I guess he wouldn't mind if I poke him in the eye with a fork. <gasps> oh! Yeah, he's dead. What? <laughs> Foreign bodies inside, stick a, a fork in me, I'm done, and steer clear of the sharks. Get ready to laugh because today we are breaking down and reacting to all of the hilarious medical scenes and absurd injuries from American Dad. Let's dive right in. Okay, Mrs. Simmons, if you'll step away from the mammogram machine. The mammogram does a low energy x-ray. It gives us a picture of the breast tissue. We're trying to detect any abnormal tissues, really specifically any tumors or cancers. I have one more important test. Oh. All right, sir, I said you could try three nipples and then you'd have to go. Okay, weird, okay, that doesn't make any sense. And inappropriate that the doctor or tech is not in the room with a chaperone. You need to have a chaperone with you. Fine. But as long as I'm here. Your breasts are full of spiders. Perfect. That's the way I like them. <laughs> Unlikely to pick up spiders unless their exoskeleton is dense enough to be able to pick it up on an x-ray, which you might be able to. But unfortunately, you would not want to have any of these spiders in you, and they probably would not be able to live in your tissue anyway. Looks like tuna isn't the only chicken of the sea. <laughs> Do you guys know why they say tuna is the chicken of the sea? I think it's a brand or it's on the label of like canned tuna, but obviously it's not chicken, it's a fish. See, nothing to worry about. You're right, because I dominated a freaking shark up top. <laughs> What? Wait a minute. Okay. You have a complete amputation above the elbow. Probably not going to be able to control the bleeding with direct pressure. You're probably going to go to your tourniquet application. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. If you bled that much to where the bleeding stopped, you would not be alive. Ouch. Thank God. The bleeding stopped. I think I'm out of blood. <laughs> there it is. If you lose between 30 to 40% of your blood volume that fast, you're gonna go quickly into hypovolemic shock. Just give me back his arm so the doctor can reattach it. Oh my gosh, that's nasty. Come on. Come on. Can you replant an amputated arm? You potentially can. If you have the limb, you got some sort of chance, but you have to be at a center or a hospital that has the ability to replant it. Not every hospital can do that. Actually, very few hospitals can do that. I brought you a little something to say sorry about what happened. Oh gosh. I'm not sorry it happened. What? What? I came face to face with my greatest fear and I made it out the other side. Nowadays, the likelihood that you're going to be able to get a prosthesis that is high functioning and that you might be able to have control over is probably pretty great in the sense that I hope to see this in the next five, 10 years. That would be amazing. Hey, I brought you this Dikembe Mutombo jersey. Not all shark bites lead into amputations. You can get bitten and just get really bad puncture wounds, lacerations, or pieces pulled off. Wow, so we're fully covered? Yes, ma'am. This is why it pays to have top of the line butt insurance. Butt insurance? Typically you don't have insurances for specific areas, except for some reason in the United States, your medical insurance is different than your dental insurance. Dental plan! Oh. oh, how do you feel, honey? Not great. I guess I overdid it with the whole kinky thing, huh? Got flowers on the table, quite common. He's able to drink, he's got some sort of food, but he's still got an IV chilling at the bedside. Typically, once you move on to PO, meaning you can take something orally or eat, you get away from IV fluids. So this could just be medication that might be needed. Oh, Stan, this is all my fault. What do you mean? This was my idea. You just wanted to be spanked. No, I pushed you to do something you were uncomfortable with when I should have just accepted that this is how you are. Sometimes seeing a loved one in the hospital can bring on some stresses. Definitely check out a supplement that I came up with called Chillax to help you find calm vibes for the occasional life stresses. Sometimes people are repressed for a reason. And once you start to unrepress them, the floodgates open and voila! I never should have tried to change you, honey. What? I'm sorry. Obviously, there was something that went on where Roger is now inside the body. Would you see the protrusion through the abdominal wall? No. It's not my fault. I don't feel well. It's always something with you. You've been nothing but a burden. <gasps> 
Oh. Stan, please. Yeah, Dad, don't stress him out. It messes with his stomachs. Stan, just shut up. Messes with his stomachs. So the alien has multiple stomachs. You know, our lives would be a hell of a lot easier if you were just gone. Oh, yeah? Well, I... I, 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 I. Oh, first off, he drops a cigarette on the ground. Please don't smoke inside, and please don't smoke in general. Nothing good comes of it, and we know it significantly increases your cancer risks. Whoa. So people always ask or come into the emergency department and be like, I'm going to explode. Explode! Pretty impressive how much the body can stretch. And yes, there are times when the skin might actually rip open to relieve pressure, but that typically is related to like hematomas or blood expanding underneath tissue. And if it expands far enough. Just ignore him. He's being a drama queen. All right, everyone up to bed. Oh gosh, still there. Dad, I think he's dead. <gasps> Well, then I guess he wouldn't mind if I poke him in the eye with a fork. <gasps> oh! Yeah, he's dead. What? <laughs> what do you do if you find somebody who is on the ground? You'd probably go say, hey, shake them, move them. Are you okay? Are you okay? If you do not get a response, call 911. And then you're going to feel for a pulse. You're going to look, listen, feel for a breath. So you're looking to see if there's chest rise and you're trying to feel if there's breath on your face. There's your alien men. I pooped oh, him out. Oh, I don't know what happened on the previous scene. We got destroyed room, handcuffs, and some bruising. Chin and right eye. How many of you out there have ever had a black eye? Let me know in the comments. Kill him instead. He's been harboring me. I've been living in his large intestine. Wow. Okay, so alien parasite living in an intestine. You have large intestine versus small intestine. The small intestine has to do with a lot of absorption of nutrients and processing of what we eat. The large intestine does a lot of reabsorption of like the fluid. It was terrible. I thought kidney stones were bad. Nice work, Smith. Kidney stones. Kidney stones. Painful as all get out. People are riding on the gurneys of the hospital bed. Sometimes once we have the diagnosis, we'll give medication to help dilate up the ureters. No! Don't put that mask on me. I'm not ready to die. Not before Shatner. I'm doing what has to be done. Ah! giving some sort of gas. We have canisters and cylinders to the side, turned it on, put a mask on. Typically what ends up happening in hospitals where you're going to have procedures, they're going to give you medications in the IV form first. Oh geez, so the gas must be leaking. He has a scalpel in his hand. This is probably either a 10 or a 15 blade because it's rounded. He reversed the gas. Son of a Superman tooed me. Would it happen in real life? Maybe, but again, you really gotta be careful. Gases are potentially inflammatory. We always have the thing where please don't smoke around oxygen canisters because they're flammable. You don't know exactly what gases are around, especially in closed environments. All right, so American Dad. It's been a while since I checked out American Dad, but th these clips were actually quite funny and very medical for a cartoon show. I put a twist on it to how it would be for a human, especially since we have Roger, who is an alien. But I hope you guys enjoyed this react. Definitely check out those playlists right here binge watch everything. And as always, please make sure that you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching, and stay healthy, my friends.